Good morning, everyone. Yes, today subject is a new lake, and this new lake is Lake Jackson in Tallahassee, Florida. I've never been here before, and it was foggy this morning, so the fog has just lifted, and not much I can tell you except right now that the water temperature is 64. And for what I've seen so far since the the sun has got up, there is really like lily pads, saw grass. We're gonna break down a little bit of the grasses today. So I'm excited. Anytime I get to fish a new lake, I'm excited. So what we're gonna start off with is this. Guys, whenever you're fishing Florida or in, in lakes that have a lot of grass. Now it could be in Texas, it could be up north. You're always gonna to wanna to find clean areas. And what I mean by clean areas is where the bottom is clean. Maybe you got some sand, maybe you got a clean rocky bottom. You, got, you don't want much algae bloom in areas when you're fishing in grass. You want that healthy grass. So as you can see right now, hopefully you can. See how this grass has a lot of algae on it? Uh, you can see it's not crisp and clean grass. These type of areas, you can fish fast, okay? You can fish fast through these areas. You don't have to spend much time. And once you get in that healthy grass looking areas, that's when you wanna slow down. So hopefully today I'm gonna be able to break down what I'm looking for, how I'm catching them, and maybe we can all learn together because every day I go on the water, it's it's not like I know everything in the world. I don't know, I don't know everything about fishing, so I'm always learning. So hopefully we can learn today and capture a few bass. All right, guys, here is what I'm talking about. You've heard me talk about clean areas. You see this slime looking stuff down here? Anytime I get around that, I don't do as well, okay? You can see, I don't think the bass like it either. It may be getting in their gills. It may be getting, I don't know. I, I just think of it like smoke or whatever, you know, clogging up, can't breathe well. I, I have no idea. but. When I talk to you guys and I say, hey, get around some clean grass, I want that grass right there to not have, see that slime coming up? See that? Let me see. This is a slime. I don't want that slime on the grass. So when I say, so I'm what I'm doing right now, I'm moving fast and quick and getting out of this area. Super fluke and grass, guys, is like is like chocolate to me. That was so cool. <laughs> Snagged a gar with a big easy. At Virginia. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I saw the grass move over there and through over there and snag the gar. 
and I'm getting the slime all over my hand. Oh, nice. I know y'all want to smell that. So here I am out here yeah, making a video for you guys like and I'm getting distracted with FLW Live. I don't know if any of y'all have ever tuned into that, but it is one of the most addicting shows you can watch. They got everything from quad boxes, but FLW Live is, is awesome. You get to watch them fish live. You guys are watching me live out on the water, so I'm actually taking a break. I do chime in a lot with the chat that goes on this thing like today i've been chatting for quite a bit now i love reading you guys comments i love reading your comments on my on my videos but i've been putting it up there on my uh depth finder I actually just lay it up there right on my screen so i can listen and watch so you may think I'm down there looking at my depth on my depth finder, but I'm actually watching FLW Live. It's, it's so funny. I can't stop watching this stuff. I need to get up and start fishing. Get you guys some content, but I'm getting distracted. All right, so it's about lunchtime. We've caught a few fish, yeah, but in the back of my mind, there's an oyster bar right beside the ramp, right on the lake. So it's killing me. I love oysters. So I'm gonna go in and get me a couple of oysters and then come right back out here and figure these bass out. But right now it's lunchtime for oysters. This man right here, I think he said he shot 2,679,330 oysters. <laughs> Plus that dozen. <laughs> Chew them and savor the savor the taste. A lot of people just slurp them down quick. I like I like chewing on them. I love the taste of oysters. Mm. All right, guys, I made a change, and I want you guys to see this. So you have all this open water out here, and they got this like sawgrass weed looking stuff. This lake had had been down and all this weed stuff. What I've done, and this is pretty cool, I've come on the inside of this weed line and immediately I start seeing beds. I, I got a pair, I've seen two pairs, okay? Uh, so basically I'm creeping along and, and I wish the sun was up on this side, but you can look, you know, around the base of some of these weeds, you'll see like a clean spot uh, and you're just seeing like white shells like see it right here uh, that's that's not one but you're just seeing clean spots on the back side of these uh, these weeds and I'm starting to see them spawn I'm seeing a couple spawners back here haven't seen any big ones but the cool thing a bit about it is it's giving me a clue of what stage they're in what stage so we're going to continue to go through looking like a jungle but we're looking for you know isolated beds that are in behind this weed wall right here and when you see a good clean bed you can go by it it's okay you might spook it off but we're going to turn around here in a little bit if we find a good one on the bed and see if we can't catch her. I'm trying to get you guys content, but Beelight just caught a giant bass. 
he's doing his actually it's his second giant be that i'm rooting for you i'm out here doing youtube content and you're out there stroking them that's that's my boy right there be that So cool. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. Oh my gosh. That was like that fish was cruising back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I spooked this fish when uh I spooked this fish when when I first saw it. I thought it was just a cruiser, but I put my power poles down, put my power poles down. Guys, we're 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 getting something going here, getting something going. And what I mean by that, man, he didn't hesitate at all. What I mean by that is uh, we started on the outside of the grass. Again, guys, started on the outside of the grass, and we've moved to the inside. And it's all about developing what stage these fish are in. And like you saw just a little bit ago, he, we were coming through these, these trails with the back grass. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. And then all of a sudden... There's, there, there's another bass. Oh my gosh, there's another bass on the bed. Oh, damn it, Dudley. That was a horrible pitch. Horrible pitch. Gosh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, get this thing right back in the bed and wait for that bass to come back. But we're doing something, guys. It's, it's about making adjustments. And I had to come way inside. And, and, and I'll tell you this. The fish also had to come way inside to find... Ooh, there's a bass. There's a bass back. The fish had to come way back inside to get to get to clean water. You heard me talk about earlier, you need to find clean water, clean grass. Well, this is clean with a good clean bottom. And, and instantly, instantly we... We are back here on them. Ooh. Yeah, man, he's looking at it. So, clean water, guys. We're, we're on to something. All right, guys, we're going to go over a little bit about map reading. But map reading really doesn't do much in Florida. I mean, it's going to give you contour lines to, for a certain extent. But I want to show you what we've done today and where we've went. So if you look here, of course, we put in, we put in right here, okay? And then we did a quick jog in the fog this morning. But then I just decided to stop on this kind of, see, you can kind of see this rounded point with a little flat right here. So I stopped here, milled around a little bit, didn't do nothing. Now, as you can see, you got eight foot, nine foot, you know, it's it's kind of they got an actually 11 foot hole here and 11 foot hole here but it, it it's going to show you depth but it's not going to show you the very fine detail so then we came out over here now over here is where we started coming in behind see how uh, deep and channeled it gets right here you can see where we zigzagged a little bit okay we came in, tried that little flat point. Then I came out and see this 10 foot water here. I came out and I said, hey, I want to try something. We, Cause we kind of fish shallow here, come out across here. So then I came out into open territory. You see where I came out in open territory. We didn't do nothing, didn't do nothing. So then I tucked back in and, and that's where we started seeing the beds. You can see my line going really close right there. Uh, fished around a little bit more. This is where we got into that some of that dead grass and you see where I, I came back out Okay, so I came in and I got around that a lot of that algae bloom grass and immediately you see where I headed out Okay, then once I got out to clean grass You see where I started working in that clean grass clean grass and I actually caught one right there Okay, then I decided to try something different, so I came back out across the lake. Now, of, this is kind of an obvious spot, like there's a deep hole right next to the bank. But when I got over here, there was hyacinth mats and everything. And you can see, actually, oops, yeah. You can actually see how shallow I went. So see this 20-foot hole? 
I came came in and then went in behind this reed wall and I saw a few beds, few empty beds in behind that tall weeds and then I come back out here. Map reading in Florida doesn't do as much justice as it does in say a Highland Lake, but you can still get general ideas. So that was kind of my overview of the day, guys. My belly is full of oysters. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Share it if you enjoyed it. Comment below. And I really do appreciate you guys subscribing. I, I don't take that for granted. You guys have been so kind to me. And uh, I have a lot more of these coming up your way. I've been down here in Florida for a little while. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of fishing before I head to Grand. And I think that's it. So, outro time. Don't forget, if you see me, come Come check me out. Do you? I'll film you doing the outro and incorporate you in on this video. So here we go. Outro for David Dunn. Oh, that's kind of crooked. We out. All right, guys. You know my outro. I'm here with Levi Mullins. And guys, I really do appreciate you liking, subscribing, commenting. And if you're new to the channel, go around and surf. And we always like to have fun with the outro. So my boy Levi says he wants to do the outro and I appreciate everything you guys do. So Levi, give us the outro.